Slime Rancher 2, set sail for new, new adventure on Rainbow Island. Well, tough luck, because I already got that game. Anyway, let's click continue, and hopefully the mods won't crush the game or corrupt anything. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, it's good to be back. Oh, I remember these guys. <clears throat> Am I recording? Yeah. What's up, dudes? My name is Joel Magic, Mods to Elder Gadget Cruises, and welcome back to Slime Rancher 1. No, not Slime Rancher 2, Slime Rancher 1. The reason why I've decided to come back is two reasons. Number one, I really missed my old ranch in Slime Rancher 1. Like, look at them. Oh, I had my pink tabby slimes. I had my rock rock phosphorus. Oh, and they still have the skins. You know what? Despite I really love the new skins, I'm just going to go on ahead and... Ooh, a question mark. Let me turn everyone back to normal. Just, um... Just for old time's sake, because, um, I do really love- Oh, look at all the skins. I do love the new skin styles, but because I'm returning to this game, I want to have the originals back. Ooh. As you can see, there are question marks. However, though, these question marks are not- Oh, I love that. Are not a new update. Literally, last time I ever played or record- Like, I recorded or played this game, literally, was the last time. So let's see. Oh, nice! Oh, so... Alright, first of all, let me just do this. There we go, just to make sure I don't lose them. Because I feel like, once again, that doing this helps them stay... I really should be doing this in Slime Rancher 2. Yeah, why haven't I thought of doing this in Slime Rancher 2? <gasps> there it is. New upgrade, Ginger Predictor. Basically, so yeah, one reason I came back is to basically revisit the game. Oh, there's the drones. Gate hack. Ooh, okay, I don't know what that is, but I'll see later. But also because I wanted to try out a few mods. If you guys remember, I am a huge fan of collecting. You can tell. Okay, let's ignore all the blue blueprints on the top, bottom right. I don't even know what that is. I didn't want it. But anyway, you know I'm a huge fan of collecting. So I got like I got my lucky I got my lucky slime, my golden slime. You could see some things on the screen. I'm really happy you can see all of them. We got our puddle slimes, and as you can see, we also got an octopus because there was a, because well, I, well, as I I came back on this game, I literally did just come back to this game, and it turns out there were two treasure pods added, which added a brand new sunglasses and scuba dive outfit, which I've already made, and it also added these uh, an octopus that basically uh, any slime that wears the scuba dive will like it more. You guys remember our gold gordo? There's our pink tabby, our rock phosphors, our boom honeys. And we have all of our um, trees and stuff. Gosh, I am so much more successful in this than Slam Rancher 2. I actually don't really remember much about Slam Rancher 2. It's been a while. Here we got our <laughs> rad, uh, rad hunters. We got our quantum hunters. Yes. Ooh. And not only that, we also finally got our... These ones. So we got our fire slimes. We got our crystal... Uh, mosaic slime and we have our I've got their name uh, tangle tangle tornado slime or whatever oh and we have our and we have our robots wait what is it what what is question hold on uh, I might need to change the controls so one so one mod you can already see I put on is to give finally give myself more slots in Slime Rancher 2, they finally added on the two slots, but in this game, I always wanted more than four slots, but, but, so I downloaded a mod that allowed me to have more slots. What am I looking for? Um, oh yeah, options, gamepad, no, which should be, wait, is it this? No, input, there we go. There we go, so slot five is five, so what, why, oh, so I can't add the other slots. Well, that's not good. I remember to access my water. Oh! Oh, well, that didn't work. Another update I put on was basically now, um, Gordos and the Plorts will also have the same decoration as the normal slimes will. However, um, despite I turned the skins off, you can see the skins are still on. That is still cool, though. I really, I quite like that. You can see that. Okay, wait, how I can't... 
I can't, what? For some reason, they didn't really think about the controls options, did they? Anyway, I'm back. I have no water though, dang it. Alright, whatever. So yeah, I've downloaded a bunch of mods, so what was this like? Oh yeah, basically I was saying, you know how much, I'm a how much of a collector I am, and I forgot I was about to show straight after those slimes. Uh, where's the portal? Right here. That I even went on ahead and collected a party slime. So basically, yeah, I've kind of basically have gone every single kind of slime in the game here that I can add, that I can possibly do that. So I'm really happy that I even got a party slime, a gold slime, and a lucky slime in my ranch. Uh, just in case there might be a day where I might probably, maybe I probably will not want the mods anymore. I did make an extra save file just to be safe. Anyway, it's been quite a while. I remember, I still remember all the details and stuff because sometimes I even watch my old videos. Do these guys also, yes they do. Oh, I cannot wait to show you guys what mods I have on. I can already, you guys probably already can already take a guess what mods I probably have on by now. There has been a few other things that I missed out, such as, um, I, I I've not been around for every Wiggly Wonderland event, despite, I, I do like the Wiggly Wonderland event and the Party Gordo event, but I just, I'm kind of get I got a bit sick of just going on it every day. Well, literally, I never even went on it once after, after the last time I played this game. So basically, and since I even caught a lucky and a gold, a lucky and a gold slime, I have added on mods to help myself. So as you can see, we have a few particular special mods. Basically, we are going to be able to capture the tar slimes, the glitch slimes, the quicksilver slime, and even the twinkle slime. And not only that, there's a few extra mods that I put on as well that will also be quite cool. So number one, ooh. Yeah, you can see that we have some extra stuff, but not all of the stuff is actually, um, what I added. Because, like, basically, I got this called the Ginger Prediction. Smart scientists figured out where a rare veggie could grow in the glass desert. All possible spots are marked on the map. That is a lot of money, but I'm able to buy it straight away. So, basically, it shows where it could sh they could show up on the map. And then, what is this? Hack the gate at Mochi's Manor to make it ineffective and go in and out with your normal inventory but you have to be careful Mochi may or may not see when her precious Quicksilver's slimes disappear. If that happens she will attack your base. Oh. I don't want anyone to attack me but wait is that meant to be how I'm... Wait is that how I'm supposed to get the Quicksilver slimes because I actually I don't want her to attack me or anything I just want to keep them. So what, do, does it mean by attack my big, like, base as in, like, when I come back, the Quicksilver slimes will be gone? Well, basically, what my plan is, for all these other new slimes, I'm going to be, I'm going to put them. I was like, what are you doing? Are you stuck? But no, you're not. So can I get, oh, what's this? Electrical storage, a high-tech machine that can store. Oh, this is, oh, okay, so this is what I feed, okay, okay, this is what I feed them with. And there's a few other things that I have gotten, such as, if I take a look... Oh yeah, this is the scuba fashion and the party glasses fashion as well. But, wait, is there something's missing, unless, are they... Oh, perhaps, oh, maybe perhaps the other mods are in um, extra treasure pods. So basically today, my goal is to capture the other four different types of slime. There was also a mod that allowed to have, like, the pure saber slime. But I already, but as long as I'm able to give my plorts to like uh, one of my slimes, I'm fine with that. So, okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and buy the upgrade then. Where is it? Um, the gate hack. So I'm gonna put all these slimes inside of Muchi's area, basically. So I'm able to get in now with my uh, jetpack. I mean, with my gun now, which I like. So let's see, so first of all, there's only four spaces here, so I can only, there is also the science lab, so I think what I'll possibly do, so first of all, let, I'm going to go ahead and get a coral here, let's see, high walls, music box, internet, port collector, and auto feeder. Alright, I'm going to put two of these here, oh wait, this, I can place five actually, um, hmm. Let's put a... Hmm. Kind of depends, though. 
I don't I don't fully know how this is going to work out in the end, but well, first of all, I'm just gonna go in. No one's gonna see me. <laughs> so I'm assuming if I click go, it's going to start. But however, I can now kidnap the sick quicksilver slime. So I don't think I can merge these guys with anything, so I'm gonna take at least... Let's take at least eight. I still... Oh, cool, I can still get these. Oh, and it'll still give me... Oh, that's cool! So it'll still give automatically give me all the plorts. Alright, I hope... I'm pretty sure she won't miss out on eight of her, sli eight of her slimes. <laughs> Oh, that's annoying that she can take them back, but I do I do kind of like that, though. No way she would notice eight would be missing out of all of these guys. Plus, I'm not really taking it from a ranch either, because it's going to still be in her ranch, basically. Although it's my ranch now, so... <laughs> yes! Okay, so now I'm able to successfully put the Quicksilver Slimes in their own little cage, yay! Oh gosh, they really are fast, look at them go! <laughs> so I don't think I can merge them with anything for right now. Is there an area where I can... Oh, there's probably toys as well, isn't there? There's the Octa one. Oh, wait, there's the microphone. That's for the Twinkle Slime, though. The Tower Plush. Oh, increases agitation of nearby slime, excluding the tar slimes. So that, that's for the tar slime. Wait, where are the other types of toys? They did not add... Oh, that's a bit of a mistake. They should have added toys. I like when people put this many details in, though. I like that this is for the twinkle slime, because they sing. And this is for the tar slime, because he's scary. But there's nothing in for the, um... The silver slimes. Whatever. For now, though... Let me see, so I can place down drones if I want. So how do I feed these guys? Do I go in and grab the electricity and then give it to them? Not really sure. Wait, is there like any market link or something like that? Hi Goldie, hi Lucky. Wow, 300. So these are gonna give me a lot of money. All right, so now we can get Glitch Slime, Atar Slime, and a Twinkle Slime, although I don't know where a Twinkle Slime... Oh, look! Yay, so... Oh, my... I did not know there was that many locations where the Gilded Ginger could spawn. That is... Wow, a bit too much. All right, anyway, so I need to make that electric gadget, I guess, so that I can feed them. Here we go, electric storage. It costs five already Quicksilver plorts. And it costs five gold plorts? Yikes. So, I heard... So, the Twinkle Slime doesn't eat anything... So I'm gonna probably put it over there, although I don't know whether- Also, this mod also allows a Twinkle Slime to show up every day and not just in Christmas, so that's cool. Although I don't remember how the Tar Slime works, so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna see if I can find the Twinkle Slime. And yeah. Although first I'll need some Silver Plort, so I'll actually have to do one of those race things to um... Yeah. So I think there's some treasure pods out there, possibly, that I need to find. Okay, wait, warp tech. All right, let's see, where is it? There we go. Gosh, that took, that cost me a lot of gold plorts. I think what will happen is if I put down an electric storage. Oh, it's, oh, it's one of those things that takes two minutes. I like the detail though, okay. I'm, so it says I can store electric. Can I only feed them electricity from, if I get it from the race and that's where I store it? Oh, maybe. All right, well, that's one slime down, three to go. Now, next up, I am gonna go in here and find some brand new unique things. So basically, let's go into the glitch world. So if I recall, there are some extremely brand new uh, secret uh, data here. Oh gosh, it, oh, I forgot it swaps my water out with it. So first of all, that's a mint mango. 
I need to find a glitch slime. There you are. Oh, here's the classical glitch slime. Oh, frick. I'm using them being blue, not pink. Despite, like, this is literally, like, the classical version of them. Oh, nice! A glitch pogo fruit. Yes! So this is the food that I need to feed them. Ugh. All right. Is this real food? <laughs> oh, there's one here where he despawned. All right. So I think not only is there... Um, Oh, this is definitely not meant to be here. Yes, come here. Come here, all of you. Oh, actually, no, I don't really need to catch as many as I can, actually. I just need to catch a few. Well, I'm going to catch as many as I can anyway, because it's part of the game. Come here. <laughs> come here, little bugger. I'm not sure if I can... I'm not sure if I can merge slimes with these guys, but... Well, first, I'll get as much glitch pogos as possible. There's probably, like, a brand new uh, fan-made treasure pod. But basically, I've also added on... There's going to be a secret style for the tar slimes and also for the um, the glitch, the error, error, error slimes. Like, you know, like, the tar slimes in the glitch mode. So there's going to be, like, a new outfit for each of them. Which I like that they've made the mod for that, for those guys. Because, I, yeah, I don't know why they didn't make... Um, why the creators of Slime Rancher didn't make a Tar Slime skin. I'm actually on a Discord server with the with them. I could ask a few questions like that. I just don't want to be too peckish about it. Alright, I've gotten plenty of glitch uh, glitch fruits. I might need a little guide though showing me wherever the capsules could perhaps be. I'm assuming if there is capsules, I'm assuming that maybe there might be like, hmm, maybe around here. Aha, here we go. Yeah, this is definitely fine. I knew it'd be here. There we go, corruption. Visit the ranch house, there we go. So now they have a new look, and also you're, def also you're definitely fake. Never mind, that wasn't fake. Oh, here they are. Oh, that looks cool. You can actually see the codes in them and like lines. Oh gosh. Alright. Oh. More glitch lines. Ah. Uh, oh wait, I have a weapon. Die. 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 No one touched my slimes. So. It's splitting apart! Ooh, new blueprint available. Party fashion pod. There we go. This was another mod I decided to add. The, uh, the party fashion mod allows me to ba basically will give me a costume where I can basically fully part make my um, slimes wear a full party outfit and things like that. Where should I put them? I think I'll put the glitch slimes here. All right, high walls, internet. There we go. What? <laughs> All right, and we'll put the glitch slimes in here. And get our first plorts. And now let's also go ahead and make a, create a garden. And grow the glitch pogo fruit. Yes! Oh, I love this so much. All right, so I will need... And now we got the glitch plort. Yay! All right, let's look at my slime. So is there nothing new? Oh, there is something new. I don't know what that is, though. Oh, and let's... Oh, I think actually I know what it is. So let's see. We got the... Did we get the glitch thing? Or is it all at the bottom? It is. So glitch pogo fruit. And two other items I am not sure what they could be. All right, nice. I hope you guys don't get too hungry while I'm gone. Can I merge you with slimes? I wonder. I definitely... Hmm, I could do a test. Well, first of all, though, I need to get rid of these guys, because, um... I'll just put them in here. Oh, no, no, you can't do that. I love that, though, so... I can release the guy. Hold on. Bye. See you never. Can So the question is, can I merge anything... Can I merge anything with... Hold on, I'm just gonna burn these. Can I merge anything with the glitch plorts? I'm pretty sure I won't be- I will not be able to merge- um, unless I could. 
But I don't think I'm going to be able to merge any it with any of the new slides. But I'm going to test this glitch plot out with a normal slime. Let's try it out with a phosphor. Will they eat? No. Okay, so it's uh, so it, it can't be bred. It can't be merged with other slimes. Got it. Oops. So it's like a gold floor. Okay, I understand that because it would be. I think it would, it would definitely be very hard to code it as a mod. There we go. All right. Oh frick! I forgot. Um, where where? Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot. There's just so much to do. I keep forgetting to do specific things. So sorry if I'm gonna be all over the place. But first, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to the mochi area. This is my area where I have more lucky and gold slimes. So, I need to take like, one of my gilded ginger and my kugaba fruit. Alright, so I can now... I can now plant gilded ginger. That looks like silver parsnip. Oh, I get it! It's silver parsnip, but it'll grow gilded ginger alongside it. And I can also now grow kugabas. That is... Oh my, that is awesome. I love that so much. All right, I'm gonna, oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get electricity for it. Can I store electricity as a food now? Oop, like. There we go. So, uh, oh, here's some ports. Uh, what? I didn't do anything. No, do you see any Quicksilver slimes on me? Yeah, you silly Billy. Well, question number one, can I? No, it does not count as food. Here we go. There we go, now you're all fed up. Oh, a uh, generator MK2. It generates a small amount of energy and increases the storage of energy. Ooh. And it generates a bigger amount of energy, increases the storage of energy. Oh, nice, so. Oh, that's actually awesome. So I can store in a bunch of electricity in here. Oh yeah, wait, oh it doesn't matter how many times. I can just keep shooting these guys multiple times. Ow. I actually, I really like that detail. This is why like sometimes I always think the mods are gonna be like, oh it's just gonna be like, it's gonna be really buggy and things like that. I love this though, the whole idea of the Kukadavers and I love, that was a clever idea having, I don't know why I was expecting it was just gonna be a full garden of gilded gingers. Basically, never underestimate a modder. Oh, wait, new blueprint, jukebox. Terminal to buy instruments for trying to change it next to the house. Ooh. I actually can't tell if that's, a, if that's a part of the up, if that's part of the new game or if that's part of the mod. Oh, I forgot. Oh, here we go, yeah, party fashion pod. Yeah, 9,000, whatever, I don't care. So now I can decorate all my slimes as a party slime. And terminal to buy instruments for the chime changer next to the house. Is that part of the game? I think it is actually. Yeah, whatever. I'll get that. I'll get that. And just and now I just to create the curios. I hope it's not too much. Oh, I just need freaking slime fossil and a jukebox. Oh no. Oh, this is a part of the mod. Oh, never mind. So I need twinkle plorts, more glass shards. Ah, oh, and with this I need slime fossils. Oh yeah, so it's lit. Oh yeah, so these are the party glasses, but this is party fashion. So they didn't add the party hats for these guys, but they did for these. So yeah. Oh, I just realized I, I could give it to my I could give that to my gold my gilded uh, ginger guy, my gilded uh, Gordo. All right, nice. So we got the glitch slimes, we got the quicksilver slimes. Speaking of the glitch slimes, I should make sure that um that they're happy. Whoa. Alright, I like how there's a mixture of pogo fruits as well. Alright, brand new glitch pogo fruit. I really wish this was true though. I really wish this could be true. Although I feel like, I wish there was like a way, maybe like a bit more of a tougher way to um... So, they still eat these, got it. Alright, cool. So now let's go on ahead and... Oh, ooh, this is where I can put stuff. So let's put the drone here. Your job shall be to get... Uh, what was it? Huh, wait, how can it work, though? 
Oh, nice. All the separate ones for these. So you you get the glitch pogo fruits uh, from the garden and give it into auto feeders activate. And I'll come back myself to collect the glitch plorts. Oh, I love this. Are we still like... Oh, I think one thing that I'm really upset about Slime Rancher 1 that never happened, I was hoping that there was at least going to be one more minigame, because we, we had that old lady character, if you guys remember, and, and, I, I, and we were hoping that she was going to have, basically, she was going to have, like, her a minigame over by the ocean side, but we never got one. Oh, so that's, it's so, so that's why it slightly feels like this game wasn't really fully finished. Whatever, though. So we've now done that. So now we've gotten both the um, the Quicksilver Slimes, we've planted our Cucumbers and Gilded Gingers, and now we have to get the Tar. We have to get the Tar and the... Oh, I still remember that I did this. <laughs> well, I didn't decorate it. I, I basically popped it. Um, basically, I found a bubble, the Twinkle... Beg your pardon? Oh! Twinkle Slime! Wait, what happened? Is there double the amount of... Oh! Did I... Did coincidentally the Twinkle Slime just spawn here? Still love that. Did the Twinkle Slime literally just coincidentally spawn there and gave me them? Oh my gosh! Well, thank you! It was like, right, time to look for a Twinkle Slime. First second finds it. 840 go- <sighs> Nearly pushed- Nearly pushed it off. And the second I heard the mute- I, I heard the twinkling stop, I was like, please don't tell me I did push it off. Yes, I got the Twinkle Slime! Well, that was quick and easy. So, now I'm going to make a new coral for the Twinkle Slime. Here we go! Hello! Oh, look at him! He's so sparkly! Oh, I'm gonna be honest, the Twinkle Slimes are my favorite. Do you sing? Please tell me you sing. Uh, it is basically just the pink slime, however, just, it is just the pink slime, but like, uh, with a new texture on. I still love the whole bubbly thing, though. Sing. Please. Ah. Uh, the, their diet is everything, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna feed them the Koopas. Although I have to say, the prices for their ports are a bit, oh, way too high. Oh, the Gilded Ginger takes longer. Oh, wait, no, just because it hasn't uh, done it yet. Hello, guys. Are you happy? I don't know. You don't look like it. Here you go. You want to eat a cucumber? Oh, wait. They might have... Will they only eat a specific time of day? Let me read. Oh, they might have... Did they update this? No, obviously it's not going to... Oh. I, I was thinking it would be nice if they would have updated the uh, updated this thing. Oh, these guys did look. So these guys put in details into it. So glitch pogo fruits. All right. I, I'm not saying that they didn't put detail in it, but I feel like they should have like they should have added details about this thing because its diet is none. Wait, will they are do they eat or? I'm going to leave the cucumbers in here for now. Let me test out a silver parsnip and see if it eats that, because... Hmm. Nope. Okay, maybe... Okay, maybe it might be a slime that, like, rarely eats. This is what I mean, though. This is what I wanted. Like, a slime that could... Like, I, don't, that I didn't mind it giving me a lot of... Um... I didn't mind a slime that gave... That uh, gave me a lot of money. Well... That basically gave you a lot of money, but you can only get once per day. Alright. 
How do I... How do I get the energy back? Oh, I have to click E on it. Yay. Ah, uh, yep, we got a quick silver slime, and we got our little twinkle slime. Oh, wait, I just realized. So a twinkle slime is only going to show up once a day, so that's the only twinkle slime I'm going to be able to get right now. Okay, then. So let's go and find... Now, all there is left is this one tar slime. Oh, um, I need to get a bunch of pumps to get something. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well, okay. Hopefully, I do have a lot of plorts, though, so I should hopefully be able to make a bunch. And while we are at it, might as well make a drill as well so I can get the musical instrument thing. Let's get three of these because, yeah. So I basically have to place them around areas where it says, where it basically classifies as a, um, as a slime sea. Right, so hopefully with the pumps I might get whatever I need to tame a tar. The only thing though, that the image shows the tar as a full size, so I don't think I'm able to backpack him and basically, um, yeah, I don't think that it'll let me backpack him. So does this part count as the slime sea? No, it still counts as a ranch. Okay, here's a spot. This counts as the slime seat. Got it. Alright, so let's put in our abyssal pumps here. And an abyssal pump here. Perfect. There's enough space for all three of them. So hopefully we'll get wherever we need to tame a tar slime. And here we go, the party fashion. Yes. And now I just need... Oh, I need a lot of twinkle ports though. Okay. Ooh! Slimy solution! It's unclear if it's alive or not. So I think that must be the thing that I need. To tame the tar slime. Alright, is that the only one I'm gonna have? Nope, I got a second one. Nice. <laughs> Yay! Now we got multiple party slimes! Yay! Hey everyone! Yay! Now I got a full area full of party slimes. I've never been up here. You can see it, my butt. You could not see it from there. Jackota, there it is. It's a jacko. It's a pumpkin thing. That G is cool. Just hold away. Here you go. Oh, here, here we go. Oh, look at him. I like the pumpkin. I like the whole pumpkin detail. All right. First of all, get rid of you. Eat that. Eat it. Uh oh. Um. Eat it. Oh, he ate it! Nope. A Kanta! They're 75% as large and maybe 75% as aggressive. Oh. So they are. Wait, they're trying to eat each other. Oh gosh. Guys, you can't eat each other. Stop smooching. Come this way. Come this way. Oh, I knew it. So I can only hold them. Here. M slimes, meats, and ranches. I like how it still says calm, Jacko. Oh, nice. And he yeah, oh, cool. Even the plort is decorated as it. Chicken. Oh, nice. I can get a bunch of it. Come in. Okay, where am I gonna put him though? Because I don't. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, I was planning on. Oh, I just realized what I could have done. Well, I'm very sorry. I know you were the first one that I've created. 
you in a real pain, so I'm gonna say frick off. Just, uh... Why is Corruption Slime at the top? That doesn't really make sense. Did they make a Twinkle Slime costume? Ooh, I wonder if they did. I hope they did. Alright, I really like that style. I like how it's like a pumpkin and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab multiple slimes and put them in that one cage. That's the only way I can transfer them there. You missed it. Eat. Eat the pink board. It's right here. Eat it, you stupid kitty cat. Perfect. And eat that. Not me. Eat, eat this. Eat this. Eat that. Eat that. I swear if you despawn before you eat that. Eat, you freaking moron. There it fine. Oh, you caught that. Yay, now he's a calm tar slime. So I'm guessing this means that he won't despawn anymore and things like that. Alright, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do then... He only eats meat and slime, so... I don't think Kugadabo is really good at it. I'm gonna try Kugadabo. Here. That's a no. Ah, oh, perfect. All the way back in 2018. I love the looks of that. And I forgot the portal here. I'm gonna be honest, at first that looked cool, but to be honest, this now basically, this looks like a smelly cheese slime now. No offense, just, that's what it makes me think of. Alright, anyway, let's uh, grab the tar plushie. There you go, something for you to play with. Ah, oh. and what's also cool is that, like, all four of them have now filled up a port area here. There is one mod I have in mind that I think will be perfect to fill this up. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry if that did take a- sorry, sorry if I was really quiet at that one point, but basically yep, I've, I've come back. And also, you can see right here that I've added in another port. Although, annoyingly, both the ports are like really pure white. I know that this is the, um... <clears throat> Wait, is it? Oh no, this up here is the, um... I think that's the Twinkle Slime port. I'm pretty sure I already put in a market once, didn't I? Hmm. Whatever. And this is meant to be a Lucky port. So basically, you guys know how, like, the Lucky Slime never, like, gives you port and has been the only slime. Has been the only slime to basically, uh, not give you a port. Well, also include- Well, also, I guess all the other slimes I added on here also didn't give you any ports. But I decided to go ahead and download a mod that also allowed the Lucky Slime to give me ports. The only way to get ports from him is by getting a stone chicken. However, I'm not going to give him a stone chicken now. I'm not going to give these guys a stone chicken because I don't want to end up risking, um... Picking them off the thing and then having to, like, spend ages trying to, like, get them back on again because how sensitive, annoyingly, they are with the backpack and things like that. Could it be around here? Yay, there you are! Hello. Oh, I remember this area. I love how it's like the eyes are pink. Oh, by the way, oh, sorry that I didn't make the video of it, but basically, this um up there was where I got one of the capsules for the party style glasses. The other capsule, if we look at the map, is right here. So basically in the area where you go around the back, it's like right there. Hello, I got you a friend. Here you go. Have you given me a port yet? No. Okay, so, ah. Uh, before, before the game, like the, the info, like the mod told me that like they eat, they don't need to eat for an entire day. I was like, oh, so does that. I was thinking, ah, oh, nice. I'm actually, I'm gonna leave these here. Time see. And I've got two twinkle ports now. And how are you with your chickens? Nice, another top port. Five so far now. I I really do love these mods though, because like uh 
Oh, uh, despite, despite, again, the only thing that feels like it's missing is the fourth minigame that never happened. But what I love about this is, like, you can now see this. Again, is that a, that, that is definitely a lucky feature. Dang it, ah. Uh, I didn't want to have to do it, but, like, why was this not lit up, though? I could have sworn I definitely put it in. Anyway, let's put some hard ports and quick ports. The only thing that does bother me, though, is, like, um... How expensive these plorts are because well I guess it's it's not hard to get the glitch slimes or the quicksilver slime I guess or I don't know as for the twinkle slime the, the, the modder did say that like well it's hard to get a twinkle slime so why not make it a lot but if it's like if it's like you get one per day and you find it that's it's kind of the same thing as a gold slime so I feel like that the prices are a bit um much for them is there a seller here? No, I need like to get more boxes and stuff, but oh yeah, I love this though because it's like I like because there are a bunch of mods that have like made up slimes that I really want to try out. But all it, but I think one well, I'll probably use that. I'll probably make a new game for that if I ever do do it. But for right now, I love these mods because I love how it's basically just like um. It's like all the classical slimes, the glitch slimes, the tar slime, the twinkle slime, and the others. But I can actually farm them now. Like, this is what I always wanted because, like, that was the biggest issue. Because, um, the very, I remember the back then when I finished the game, the very first update they did was the saber slimes, which that was a catchable and marketable. But then any other update they ever did included, like, the party gordo, the twinkle slime, um, the quicksilver slime. Or the glitch slime, they weren't farmable. It was like, yeah, yeah, like these two are fun mini games, and the twinkle and party slime. I really like the extra details, uh, the extra thing about them. But I really wish they added like maybe like a, an extra slime each time as well, though. But I really like this though. Basically, that like literally every type of slime now basically can give me a plort in the slimepedia. Oh, there we go, a calm tar. <laughs> I like this game. They're 75% as large and maybe 75% as aggressive. So yes, yeah, the calm tar is the result of the <clears throat> reaction when the tar comes into contact with the mythic, mythical slimy solution. Their body loses some mass, reduces approximately 75% of their original size. Um, true to their origins, the calm tar will seek. True to their origins, the calm tar will seek out and destroy any gathering of slimes they see. But unlike their aggr aggressive counterpart, the calm tar will not decay from hunger. Rancherists, the calm tar, true to their name, is not much of a threat as a regular tar. They will still seek out and consume slimes, but not ranches. They still bit me, though. They are highly territorial, however, and will bite your ankles if you get too close. Oh yeah, there's always been a thing I never read called the plot, uh, the plot tom, the plot tomics. But basically, it's like it's supposed to be explaining. Um, it's supposed to be explaining what the plots are used for. And I never even read these, so I don't think there's any point in reading them now. It's been years, so why would I now? I'm actually, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna actually let's turn on all the styles now because I feel like I've run past these guys that I'm familiarized with their original forms. Because well, they're, they're not they're not even different in like Slime Rancher 2. Here we go, and yeah, you're now happy. There we go, the secret style is back. Oh, yep. Pretty as always. You guys are hungry? Okay, I, def I, think the I think the slow feeders are actually even more slower now with this stuff. Let's see, yeah, these guys work. Well, I'm also happy though, I was at first worried if the common car slime was not gonna have its uh, pumpkin skin. But I'm really glad it, it still works with them. Yeah, like, look. The rock slime's still there. I'm really glad that um that the uh the comms tar still has a pumpkin skin. So these guys have like their own little skins of stinky blue cheese. And these guys work as well. It's obvious that these guys would work. Oh yep. Oh I I, I love these guys' costumes the most, I think, because I just love the blue fire, the horns, and oh I just such a pretty thing. I remember with these guys, I remember with the, the I didn't, I was not a fan of the Mosaic skin, because, well, it was still pretty, but I preferred the original, but now that, but with the Mosaic skin, mixed with the red ruby, it actually does look pretty. And all, we have these guys, which, oh, I love that, the Galactic, and I love how it even affects the flower as well, that's so cool. 
And now if I go over here, I think will the glitch slimes be like it? Yes, they will. I like that. Oh, you guys aren't eating it a lot, are you? And, yeah, and I forgot, yeah, the plorts, the plorts also are now, like, the same color as the, um... Like, yeah, look, you guys can see the plorts are now the same color as their style, which I really like that I downloaded this mod as well. My little party twinkle slimes. Holy crap. Dude, do your job. Wait a second. Is 999 the max amount of pink plorts I can get? I think it is. Yikes. Oh, wait, this is a better look at looking at them. Look at all these skins of these. Oh, I do love that. And wait, is there also the, um, yep, the glitch, boomerang, and luminaire ports. I like how these ports also have their decorations as well. Although, is there, hmm, is there a tar one? Oh, no, there isn't. There isn't a tar port. Mm. Not, not only is the mod supposed to decorate the ports, but it's also supposed to decorate the, um, the gordo, but... I don't see any decoration on this guy. Oh, never mind. Oh, look at him. Oh, he actually has like the lines and stuff in him. I love that. Oh, what? He actually looks like some kind of like a Star Wars character because he has the lightsaber, the gadget thing on, and it looks like he has like these like really cool imprinted scars into his face and stuff. He's like a, he looks like a brave warrior. Aw. I like to keep this on him just to represent the DLC. But, like, yeah. Uh. Oh, wait, does. Oh no, oh, the top the plot does also have its own very own colored skin as well. I just think the only thing is though is oh no, I no, no, no. Ah, shut up, Joel. Shut up. No one cares about your opinion. I will I will also leave it I will leave a link in the description um for all these like mods for you guys to download and things like that. And I because like these mods are really good. So I hope this guy doesn't go in a rampage, but here you go. The port. There we go. And I'll eat this board. And I'll eat this. Eat that. Eat this. Eat this. Eat this. Yay! And we have another calm slime. Here you guys go. That's right. Eat all the chicken you want. How much chicken is still left in here? Oh, quite a lot still. Oh, lovely top boards. Yay! Yeah, these these mods have these mods have basically been amazing. Oh, so I really love that. So yeah, I really I really love the details of how you can get like gilded ginger and how it's like mixed up in the some pasta, and you can also grow cucumbers. I love how they put in the plants as well in the grow animation. I love that you can get like this little special liquid and you can tame these tars to become calm little tarms. And I love I love that you can now get a secret style for them as well. I love you can now get a twinkle slime every day, and not only and they get like they have a toy, they have their own, and they also have like a secret style for themselves as well. I love this whole feature of how you can like like look electricity from here, and basically feed it to the um, quicksilver slimes right here. Yay! I, I love that I was able to get like the full party outfit, so I can give all my pink slime a party outfits. And I, and I love how you can now capture the glitch slimes. And I love these brand new glitchy pogo fruits and things like that. Ah, uh, And I also love the extra detail as well that even now the uh, the glitch tars also have their own um, thing. Uh, so yeah, this was nice. It was really nice revisiting my areas and looking at all my ornaments. Dang it though, I wish there was a mod that could make ornaments because... Again, I want to get like a twink- I needed like a twinkle, a glitch, and a saber ornament. And that's it, I would have been happy. Because again, all the other ornaments I have are not really, I don't really, I'm not really interested in, like, the star stuff. Uh, but again, this was great. I'm glad I could fully fill all of these up. I'm glad that every single slime has a secret style pack. I'm glad that I can literally capture every single slime now. Because I got the party slime, go I got the party slimes, got the quicksilvers, and you know. And I, and I still have my gold slime and my lucky slime trapped right here. So, anyway guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, 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 if you